Hello my soul family how are you all and i hope you are doing great wonderful amazing and safe wherever you are in the world i welcome you all in my channel thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel for giving me lots of love and i am very glad that i help you out in some manner if you have not subscribed yet to the channel then please like share and subscribe to the channel and you can also let me know in the comment section if you want to tell me anything or if you want to ask me anything so let's start today's video so this is current energies and ascension symptoms which we all are facing okay which we all are experiencing from last 15 days i can say that because of 555 portal which started on 5th of May 2023 okay and which ended on 23 May 2023 okay this portal is actually very huge I can say that this portal uh, was uh, actually something which actually created some very big and transformation uh, changes which has bring a lot of internal transformation okay so i hope this video and this energy update will help you out in some manner but one thing i'm going to ex uh, say before starting this video is that this is current energies and if it is not resonating according to your situation then leave it out because this is not for all of you my soul family because each of the soul is okay vibrating on different consciousness level so these energies are not for all of the soul family group members okay if it is resonating according to your situation then you can take it out and if you if it is not resonating according to your situation then leave this message okay as i always told that i do not do any kind of challenging okay whenever i receive the guidance to make a video from my higher self then i'd make it okay and this is the video which again i'm receiving the guidance to make a video on this topic because there are a lot of important messages which has to be delivered to all of you my soul family so let's start today's video okay so first of all this portal was started on 5th of may 2023 to 23rd of may 2023 this was actually a 555 portal triple five portal and five is all about change okay and as you all know that nothing can grow or evolve without any kind of movement so this change was uh, going to happen with lot of movements from last 15 days okay there are a lot of things a lot of movement which has happened from in last 15 days okay i can say that especially in my case i can say that i do not know uh, in all of you uh, life what has happened but i know in my personal life there was one by one there was tower moments and soul shocks which was happening from last 15 days there was things which was happening okay another thing which was very important in this portal was there was a lunar eclipse in scorpio also there was a full moon okay so these are the energies because of these energies things actually magnify the energy magnifies okay a lot i can say that because a lunar eclipse in scorpio has its own energy then scorpio has its own energy then full moon has its own energy then portal has its own energy okay and what has happened is that as you all know that scorpio is a water sign and water is all about emotions okay emotions and scorpio is all about your darkest aspects okay the your emotions which are actually hidden okay your shadow selves the emotions where you need healing the areas which were hidden in the dark in the dense emotions okay so what has happened is because of the scorpio because of the lunar eclipse in scorpio energy the emotions which were hidden in your unconscious mind or in the areas where the light was not uh, there they where the there was a lot of darkness because of the full moon what has happened the full moon has illuminated the uh, areas okay where the light was not there the full moon has shown us that these are the areas these are the emotions where we need to heal okay these are the uh, okay these are the dense emotions these 
आर द थिंग्स वेर वी नीड टू हील आवर सेल्स ओके बिकॉज ऑफ द बिकॉज ऑफ द फुल मून द फुल मून हैज इंक्रीज ऑल ऑफ आवर इमोशंस बिकॉज इट वॉज हिडन एंड इट केम इन टू द लाइट ओके एंड ऑल विल कम इन टू द लाइट बिकॉज ऑफ द विथ बिकॉज ऑफ द फुल मून ओके सो what has happened is that the internal inform transformation that we all are going through right now is completely some monumental timeline shifts internally which will be manifested in the outside world on a collective level like never before okay whatever we are going through right now there is a internal transformation which is happening and which we will see on a collective level manifesting in a collective level in an outside world and which we have never seen ever before the amount of shadow that we have felt from last 15 days the amount of shadow that we are feeling right now is because we all are holding more light because we are clearing more uh, space to hold more light okay we have more awareness we have more perception that we did not had before so it's not that something bad has happened or some bad is coming in okay it's the thing that were actually hidden within us that we did not want to look at that we did not want to see at okay or we did not want to see our coming to the surface okay so Uh, the amount of emotional upheaval the mental breakdowns the physical purges are going on right now in a, on a huge level i can say that okay right now this portal is actually telling us to let go of the old okay let go of the old is the message let it go let it go that was the message that was the song which i was receiving okay don't resist it because if you stay in the old you will suffer more because the old timelines are going to get ever more chaotic out there in the world okay so now the choice is yours whether you want to stay in the old timelines or the false timelines okay or the 3d timelines or you want to shift into the organic timelines okay or in the higher timelines or in the 5d timelines or the in the new timelines okay so what has happened in last 15 days that we are being squeezed through the eye of the needle as we completely reset our entire dna template and birth a brand new you okay now everything that was created out there has been based on the old paradigm of separation of greed okay of control of power now in order to birth new you you have to tear down everything in terms of energetic wise okay energetically energetically you have to tear down everything in order to create you new in order to birth new you okay which means that wherever your physical body exists if you are anchor in actual frequency band of old time lines you are going to be experiencing a lot more chaos a lo lot more of the rug pulled out of uh, out there okay under you a lot of tower movements and that that is in order for the your ego i would not say break but there has to be a breaking point or i can say soul shock for the people to be willing to let go of the old ways okay this is actually happening so that you can let go of old ways okay ego has to break and because it is so strong the amount of power your ego is holding on to your ego is holding on to the old okay things will happen in the outside world so get people finally let that go old timelines old relationships old ways of being okay old mentalities but it has to be released and purged from your physical body so whatever your physical body frequency is at the consciousness that you exist at determines your timelines now we hold the grids in our body okay we are connected to the grids and people that are existing in those 3d timelines they are anchored in with the, in with their body is anchored in that 3d separation okay those dense timelines of fear of anger of victimhood 
all those different things now we have the major eclipse portal or the major timeline shift going on what happened is a lot of energy patterns so the actual grid structure holding up the old collapses from the earth so simultaneously it will be released from our physical bodies and if you are feeling those ascension symptoms like the pressure also the pressure in your own life that things just seem to be unraveling okay that strong emotions that seem quick to come quickly out of the blue and hijacks your nervous system okay so it is happening collectively it's not like that you are alone in this process or it is happening to you only no it is actually happening on a collective level because uh, as i can say i can give my own example as i say and i exist in a very high frequency but there is just a small parts of myself that are scared to fully step into my power or parts of me stuck okay into the emotional traumas or uh, into the things or the deepest darkest core stuffs the wounds okay the separation so it is so deep it is dark it is heavy programming so when you are facing and feeling those tower moments it is very easy to go back into the fear okay and uh, so the key right now is to allow all parts of you to let it go to just allow yourself to finally let it go of what is not working in your life because people things which are not aligned with your highest timeline you are going to be feeling that density you will feel it in the body so when you have a piece of you that goes in on okay um, like when you have a piece of you that go that gets so angry or fearful about something like that just you have to go deep within yourself okay go deep within yourself it is always something in you that needs to shift okay so what is within you needs to hold on to that or is triggered by that and why it is being triggered why you are being triggered but you have to ask that okay go deep to find out what is within me why i am so scared so angry about this okay you have to clear your unconscious mind you have to heal your root chakra you have to um heal your emotional body so people in your life it represents your unconscious aspects of you so what is actually happened in last 15 days in my 3d reality is that i am seeing lot of narcissist people in my 3d reality manifesting okay lot of emotional manipulation i am seeing it okay and there are a lot of uh, i can say these two major things which i am seeing in my 3d hologram reality okay and why they are manifesting in my 3d reality because in my unconscious mind i am still having the trauma of betrayal and abandonment okay which and this uh, which i have faced in in my childhood or which i have faced in my past timelines because of which the people around me which are coming in my hologram reality which are coming in my 3d reality they are actually telling the unconscious aspects of me they are telling me that you are having low self esteem issues you are having betrayal uh, uh, okay issues you have having ab abandonment issues okay you are still feeling the guilt you are still feeling the shame okay you are still feeling the fear okay so you have to remember everything that everything in your reality we have created we are not the victims okay we are not the victims we are taking back our powers as ascended masters we are taking back our power power back as avatars okay because as an angelic human race lines you are having 12 strand dna template you are a, you are a avatar born here in a 3d dimension and if you are indigo if you are a star seed the probability is that you are having 48 strand dna template 24 strand dna template 36 strand dna template and that is an ascended masters been incarnated here in 3d reality okay so you have to ask yourself that what within my life is an unconscious pattern what is an unconscious aspect what and who is in my life represents me okay because in last 15 days what was happening is that 
one by one there was continuously soul shocks which was given to me okay which was given to me and after awakening i have not received any kind of huge soul shocks i can say that which i have received in last 15 to 20 days my mind was actually i can say was unable to stop and it was thinking continuously continuously and i was feeling so much hurt inside of me i felt crying okay i i was going through a lot of things from from last 15 days so finally i get to know that why it was happening this act they are actually telling me the unconscious aspects of me okay there are a lot of things which has been stored in my unconscious mind and they are actually telling me that they are the areas where you need to heal yourself and you know universe works in a very beautiful way what a synchronicity that we are actually uh, okay Uh, making a video on we are actually learning about stations of identity in which we have completed the three parts in which i have already we have recently discussed the unconscious mind the subconscious mind okay we have just finished these two things okay in stations of identity too also the, we are actually clearing out the victim victimizer program okay out from the earth okay we are collapsing the victim victimizer program we are saying tata goodbye forever from the earth reality so for the souls who were uh, okay who are treated as a victim okay who are there as victim in a victim victimizer program they have given the trigger they have given the responsibility to collapse this um, negative alien agenda implant okay the program which they through which they okay they fragment the soul with through which they control us through which they mind control us okay the victim victimizer program we have to collapse that okay so right now the main message through in this portal is that we have to return to the zero point to the observer point to the neutral point to come in between the hara line which is the main vertical uh, current okay in which all the chakras exist okay we are in such a zero point reset which means that anything goes we are not anchored into any kind of old reality unless you believe you are and if your physical body is holding that program so you have to clear your physical body of all the old and start making those changes those choices those uh, okay things you have to choose your highest in every moment you have to choose your highest timelines you have to choose your higher self in every moment okay because you are not a victim okay we choose and we observe and we think that we have we have to observe from a zero point we have to observe from a from a zero point from a neutral observer point that what is triggering us okay what are we allowing in our energy field what we are connected into what we allow okay in our energy field in our reality okay you have to count that thing you have to count everything from food that what are the food which you are intaking okay what type of food you are intaking and you have to count your food you have to count your emotions what are the emotions you are feeling you are okay you are experiencing on what type of movies you are watching okay through which what type of emotions you are feeling okay then you have to see the people what type of people you are dealing what are the things which you are dealing and what are the mentalities you are dealing with every single part of your dna that was distorted every single toxic thing that you allowed in your body or that you breathe breathe from the air every trauma you have ever been through in billions of years has to be repaired has to come out because we need to release that density to allow more light remember one thing my soul family that we are having billions of years of memory in our hard drive storage there are billions of year memory storage stored in our unconscious mind which we need to heal which we need to repair okay for example if you were present in any timeline where 
you were burned uh, alive if or you were okay tracked down and killed that memory that trauma that shock has been saved inside in your unconscious mind you have to heal that you have to clear your billions of years memory storage okay clear it out so what has happened in this portal is that there is lot of i can see emotional manipulation or emotional manipulators or the narcissists or the psychopaths we have clearly seen their real faces in this portal okay what has done is that the Uh, the full moon has shown us the darker aspects of these people okay the clear image okay of these psychopaths of these narcissists of these souls who does the emotional manipulation okay so now you can able to see clearly the emotional manipulation the low frequency energies the jealousy the people who wear the mask on their face okay and these are the people who are from your friends your family okay your uh, your near ones your dear ones okay <laughs> your relatives okay but what we have to do is that we have to let it go okay release the people who are not serving your highest self release old programming especially the victim victimizer program collapse this victim victimizer program from the planet earth okay you will see that suddenly there is a loop of deep anger over old patterns and traumas of betrayal and abandonment but as i told you that you are not alone okay it just shows that how much we are up leveling okay as we are clearing the density here a deep in a voice saying i choose meaning i no longer act from my trauma and i choose this okay also you have to parent yourself especially mother okay mother yourself become the mother of you of your own okay become the mother of your own as many of of us in the childhood we you have never felt that loved we have never felt that wanted or given that security and stability and safety from your parents from your mother or you from your father so now you have to give that love the security the safety the stability to your inner child so there are lot of inner child wound healing which has to be done okay and trigger has been started from this 55 portal for the from the 5th may 2023 and the trigger was so intense that it blocked the mind okay there were a lot of soul shocks or the tower movements one by one one by one and there was lot of anger which was coming on the surface on the smaller things also and the mind was continuously thinking okay i was unable to stop i can say that there was my mind was continuously thinking 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 on those things which has happened and how people can act like this how people act like this how these people can act like this then i get to know that yes people can act like this because the 3d timeline is a clone world okay run by the psychopaths and narcissists and it's like that because people existing in in it come from their shadows from their wounds they have never healed their in a in their traumas or wounds and shadows okay this is all parts of them that are finite and whenever any person who is vibrating on a finite consciousness or they are vibrating on the finite creation codes that is actually the limited consciousness or the fallen consciousness they will feed on other souls okay they will feed on infinite consciousness they will feed on others and this is the vampirism system which has been created in this 3d reality okay where they need to manipulate and control and overpower others now you yourself will drop into the 3d timelines every time you come from your own shadow the parts of you which are guilty or shameful or uh, or regretful maybe depressed or anxious or jealous or victim or to everything okay every time you choose to come from that lower consciousness you will literally anchor your body into the 3d timelines into the false timelines okay so remember that we are going up okay and the down timelines constantly every moment that's why we have to do our inner work we have to heal our shadows we have to heal our wounds and by healing the parts of us that exist in that low finite consciousness we have to heal that okay reclaim the pieces of your power back
and that's what we are doing in ascension okay as it will hit every button it will trigger everything massive purge is happening right now okay we are not only have to choose our highest timelines mentally and hoping everything works out right okay that will never work because they are pieces of you of your own soul that are actually moving in a different direction away from what you want okay so you have to reclaim our parts we have to reclaim our parts of ourselves our power our gift our pieces of souls that we lost through time and space because of the trauma shock abuse devastations okay because all of the traumas because of those traumas there are a lot of programming which has been done because of that there are a lot of emotional issues which we are facing okay or states which we are facing okay so those souls who were victims in the victim victimizer program are been triggered as they have to collapse this program or step out from the program okay so we are not going into the victim state as we are coming out of that state okay the childhood trauma the ancestry bloodline you hold the traumatic births this is also very important thing if you are having trauma while birthing on this 3d reality that is also one area which you need to heal okay for example in i'm giving my own example for example my daughter was born 8 months premature okay she was not um a uh, fully 9 month old baby 9 months baby okay she was delivered in 8th month prematurely because of which her lungs were not developed properly because of which she was not able to uh, breathe properly okay on her own so what has happened when she took birth she was taken into nicu care okay for 6 days in which she was put on to, into the external oxygen level okay there were lot of things which was put inside her body okay so after 6 days i took her into my own hands okay so, so she had gone through a traumatic birth experience okay she had not felt that safety the the touch of her own mother okay so if you have felt that uh, okay you have to heal that thing also there was lot of pain in the heart chakra in the middle of the chest during the last 15 days because this was actually showing that your heart chakra was opening lot of energies were built up in your heart chakra which was releasing actually okay so you uh, there is that uh, this is what we are experiencing from last 15 days okay so we uh, are not the victims okay now we get to know that we are not the victims we do not stay in that story we heal okay we heal that if you are living in the same story again and again that means you are replaying the victim victimizer program again and again you have to uh, get away from that story line okay and you have to heal yourself so this eclipse portal is wa was like a pressure cooker we had never had before we have we are actually pe uh, pressurized like a diamond and this is how you crystallize you ha have you ever seen how a diamond is been created they pressurized it okay and they because of the pressure the diamond is created okay so this is uh, saying to do the shadow work the amount of darkness and shadow and traumas coming up these 15 days was huge okay and it was really going through some really dark moments okay i can say that because the amount of emotions coming out the anger the rage the crying the violent uncontrollable anger okay the hurt all those things were coming out okay and but i can say one thing that have compassion for yourself have compassion for yourself because you are dissolving the old patterns you are clearing a lot of things right now you are you are collapsing the old programs of the old earth okay you are the programs which has been fed to you from the society from the belief systems okay you are you are doing lot of things you are dissolving lot of things so have compassion for yourself maybe you feel lot of sleep okay you want to sleep more so from last two days i am feeling like i want to sleep more 
okay i want to uh, stay quiet i want to do lot of meditation i want to do purging i want to cry so if you are feeling like that do it okay do it and complete your healing so maybe you can have the chaotic dreams you know pieces here and pieces there that can also be a possibility you are meeting lot of people from your past and now i am telling you some of the uh, dreams which i have seen from last 15 days what was happened is that i was seeing lot of dreams and now finally i am able to decode it what i saw in my first dream that i was doing some kind of time traveling okay this dream i saw 15 days back what i was seeing is that i was doing a time traveling and i was in my home in a in a building the the home was in the building okay and that building i just um come down okay i just come down from the up to the down okay so what has happened is that my own grandmother i saw her on the building okay she was there hanging on the building then when i came down from the building uh, okay then at that point of time i said why how i came down in the building then i enter into the lift to go back into the up uh into the my house then when i uh, enter into the lift and i close the door then suddenly i get to know that this is not the lift and that door has started okay revolving rolling round and round and round and round so when it started round revolving round and round i was feeling like i don't want to fell uh, you know unconscious okay uh, i don't have to go through that and i was making myself uh, you know staying still that i don't have to fell down i have to stay still then what has happened is that round 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 what was happening that door was stop at one point of time at that point of time what has happened is that i saw in one scene that there is a traffic which is happening lot of uh, traffic jam is happening on the road and there are lot of people who are uh, who have been there in that traffic jams there are lot of car bicycle okay there are lot of th those things which has happened and there has been accident which has happened because of that accident there is lot of traffic jam which has been happened and there is an ambulance which has been there in that scene then again i have so again that door started revolving round and round and round and then i did the time travel and I, and i went back into my old house okay where i used to stay in 2018 okay uh, at that point of time okay one more thing which i saw in this dream before coming down okay in from the building up to down i saw uh, the trauma okay the trauma of sexual trauma because in my past life times and in the present life time also i have lot of sexual trauma which i have faced okay so what i saw the dream started from this scene actually that a person was lying down on a bed and there was one more girl and i was there that we both were the girls and he just actually start kissing me and my whole face was scratched okay her actually his beard scratched my whole face okay i saw that so i get to know that there are trauma which i have seen and because of that trauma which i had in my unconscious mind i fell from my building from high building to the low ground okay and i have did that time travel back so i saw this dream okay another dream which i have seen is that i have seen that there i am actually feeding lot of kids okay i am the mother of lot of kids and i'm i'm actually feeding my own uh, milk okay i'm breastfeeding the kids and uh most of the uh, the kids are actually females okay they are females so what is that mean is that we have to actually mother our inner feminine energies okay we have to mother ourselves we have to become mother of our own okay we have to take care of ourselves as mother so whether you are a boy or whether you are a girl it doesn't matter your inner feminine energy has to take care of okay that is the message 
I have that is the dream I have seen that now uh, all of the sudden what is happen is that you actually do not know what is happening and you are thinking that you are changing and you're going through a lot of that deaths and rebirth cycles okay death and rebirth is all about endings and beginnings okay so you are actually bringing pieces of soul back that you never had access to before you you get more whole you more you get more full power you put healthy boundaries because in last 15 days whatever has happened in my personal life in my personal hologram reality what has happened is that i lack i put i did not put the healthy boundaries okay i lack in putting healthy boundaries so that was the area where i have to work on myself that i have to put healthy boundaries around myself okay so you have to say that enough is enough maybe yesterday i did not say but now i am doing it and i'm willing to do the work and i'm putting the healthy boundaries okay so you have to let go of your attachments to the safety okay to the safety and you have to heal your mother relationships okay another thing which i am going to deliver here is there are some energies which are present here in in these energy um, which has to be delivered to you maybe these energies are related to the um, to the guides which are actually helping you which are your uh, founder races or which are the races from which you are actually belong to maybe these are your past timelines okay or maybe these are the energies which you are okay maybe you are um, someone who is actually an indigo star seed okay maybe you are someone who is a mermaids okay or you are someone who is auroras or you are someone who is having lyran energies the loin energies okay so that can be a possibility or these energies are helping you out and another thing which is very very uh, strong in this energy is blue avian energies okay the blue avian energies avians are those energies which are having wings okay mm -hmm. maybe you are having wings in higher dimensions okay in your actual higher consciousness bodies so these are the energies which are present maybe these are your energies or maybe these are your past timeline energies or maybe these are energies which are actually helping you out as your spirit guides that can also be a possibility okay now i'm going to deliver some messages from the um, from the tarot deck also from my own side also which is important to deliver okay so let's start the messages from the tarot deck first okay so first message for you is that you were born enough okay the second message is heal your base learn to set up healthy boundaries let go let those who who do not respect you as you are on your terms fall away okay who does not accept you fully you have to let them go okay let go anything which is not serving your highest good you have to let go that okay the third message for you is unconditional self love the fourth message for you is intergenerational patterns that is your ancestral patterns fears and false belief systems you do not have to blindly repeat that okay the fifth message for you is acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are okay the sixth message for you is dissolution of any mask is actually a blessing there is an impending changes you have to ask yourself which of these roles are actually draining you and which of these roles are actually energizing you okay the next message for you is co-create your present with authentic intention by choosing to release herself from any reality that no longer serve uh, serves her by boldly stepping into what does acknowledge assert and protect what is right for you okay every moment is an opportunity to choose again next message for you is the uh, completion of cycle there is a transition which is happening there is a transformation which is happening okay the next message for you is you are not your wounds complete your healing healing okay then the next message for you is uh, forgiveness hurt blocks our light so you have to forgive anyone who has hurt you in the past as well as you have to forgive your own self okay because for long you were hurting your own self first then mother yourself you have to do 
complete your healing for your emotional body your unconscious mind release uh, any energies which are there and cry and talk to yourself into the mirror now there they are things which you need to surrender okay surrender low self esteem surrender negative thinking surrender stress surrender worry surrender the idea to fix surrender the idea you can fix someone that is this is very important you need to surrender the idea that you can fix someone surrender obsessive thinking surrender to sleep to and rest surrender to receiving support and love surrender to the beauty of the natural world surrender to spirit surrender to silence surrender to your full power okay there are some numbers which are actually i am seeing continuously there are some angel numbers which are i am seeing is that um, triple 2 triple 2 is very very important number i am seeing from last two or three days continuously morning evening night okay morning and night okay triple 2 triple 1 triple 3 triple 4 11 11 12 12 11 55 11, and 33 44 that is 3 3 4 4 okay then there is a song of shiv ji okay that uh, is there i am going to add the link of a description box which says that shiv uh, is uh, shiv sama rahe mujhme and main shunne ho raha hu that means that the god is actually entering into me okay we are becoming one and now i am um, i am becoming the zero okay i am becoming the observer i am becoming the shunya i am becoming the zero point okay i am returning to the zero point okay so there are more messages for you and after this message i am going to close out this <laughs> current energy messages so as i told you that there are lot of changes which is coming so the change message is here and change is also a soul lesson which you uh, which you will experience in this portal which says that i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement because five is all about change so change is actually coming for you my soul family the other message is miracles lot of miracles is going to come in this portal okay transformation is actually happening you are becoming beautiful butterfly then there is truth so uh, as you all can see in this picture that when the truth comes into the 3d reality when you get to know that truth maybe it will shake your reality your 3d hologram but it will actually show you the real picture okay it will actually show you the picture when you see the truth that these are the people who are your family who are friends who are relatives who are near ones dear ones who are actually manipulating your or doing some kind of things maybe that shake your reality but that is actually helping you to see the unconscious aspects of your own self that these are the areas where i need to heal okay maybe i still need the healing of trauma of abuse of shock of devastation which are stored in my unconscious mind okay then there is forgiveness which is required here as i told you you need to forgive anyone which is which has hurt you in the past and also you have to forgive your own self then there are lot of blessings which are coming in this portal and you are going in a forward direction also one number is 1 2 3 4 the angel number 1 2 3 4 which is actually moving in a forward direction okay towards the light now the sun has come and you know that where you have to move in a forward direction and you are moving in a forward direction now there is fear energy that is present that was present in this portal and i know that you are going to convert it uh, into this fear energy was happening because in your consciousness mind you are having victim mentality because of which you are feeling the fear okay but do not worry at all because you you are actually releasing these energies you are actually collapsing the victim victimizer program okay because um, in this portal maybe you are having the energy of stuck energy maybe you were stuck on these patterns maybe these were things but now the cycle has been started the new cycle has been started and the cycle is about increase okay there is an increase in the in everything so there is uh, a support of 
family, friends and guides, the family, the people around you are more family members which are around you. There are new supportive connections which are present for you. Your consciousness is actually having great gratitude for all those things which is very beautiful to know that. And there is a creative endeavor which is going to happen. There is an event which is going to happen which is related to the creative endeavor. Okay, now the other messages are related to the soul lessons. Okay, the soul journey lesson cards. These are the messages which you are uh, going to get to know that what this portal is actually telling you. What are the soul lessons which you are actually receiving from this portal? Okay, so the first message is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So grief is the sole lesson which you are learning it. Then there is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Okay. Grief and um, blame relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So these are actually the sole lessons which you have learned in this portal. Okay. Then there is death energy, which is I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, okay? End is the beginning, okay? Endings are actually the beginnings. Then there is loneliness. Maybe after facing a lot of uh, tower moments and soul shocks in last 15 days, maybe you feel that you are alone, but you are not alone at all, okay? Trust that, okay? Loneliness, maybe you are facing this soul lesson. I know that I am never alone, okay? Patience. Patience is the soul lesson which says that I accept that everything happens according to the divine order, according to the divine timing, okay? The next message is regret. I know that I cannot change the past, okay? So live in the now moment. You cannot change the past. Do not regret about it. Whatever has happened, has happened. Is You need to uh, release that thing and last but not the least, which is the fear. Okay, I release, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So these were the actually messages from the tarot deck or the energies and the soul lessons which I am receiving here for you. I hope this current energy update will help you out in some manner. But still, I'm going to say one thing that you have to heal your unconscious mind okay and sending you lots of love healing and happy energies to all my soul family who are watching my video take care of yourself and i will see you all soon